Welcome to News Alert on Capital Television. A number of heads of state in the West African sub region have converged here in Accra for an emergency meeting. The meeting was called by the President of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama, in his capacity as the ECOWAS chairman. The meeting will look at the crisis in northern Nigeria and Mali. Two memoranda will be issued at the end of today's meeting on the increased terrorism activities in Mali and Nigeria. Capital TV will this evening bring you more on the ECOWAS meeting. The Aburi Botanical Gardens and the Forest Reserve in the Equapem South District of the Eastern Region has allegedly come under severe attack by the district chief executive of the area. According to workers of Ghana's major botanical garden and forest reserve, the DCE, Kwame Afarijan, has thrown all cautions to the wind by cutting down trees in the forest for lumber. He is alleged to have also cleared over two acres of the reserved forest to put up an office complex for the district assembly. The workers have also expressed their frustrations at how the buildings for the School of Horticulture has been converted into a district assembly offices, while the guest house situated in the gardens to accommodate tourists also turned into a residential accommodation for staff of the district assembly. Capital News spoke to Nana Asa, an official of the Aburi Gardens, to tell us more about the activities of the district chief executive. Destroying the forest, the 125 acres left. That is the only forest that we have. And that forest there, it has three purposes. One, it serves as a medicinal conservation park. The two, it serves for, that is a reservation. And even part of the, of the area have been marked for the PPP program, which uh, the president was trying or the inner government trying to, to come up with it. So, as of now, he has destroyed much of the timber species. When contacted on phone, the district chief executive, Kwame Afarijan, who would not grant Capital TV interview, said he has no business with the media on the issue. He further alleged that the workers are blackmailing him because he has raised issues with the manner in which the gardens is being mismanaged. He denied any involvement in cutting down trees in the reserved forest, but admitted clearing portions of the forest to put up a district administration building. Ahead of Ghana's first game in Brazil, Kwesi Apia has revealed his delight at Ghana's World Cup preparations as they prepare to face the Netherlands in a friendly match on Saturday. The Black Stars face a tough challenge to replicate their run to the 2010 quarterfinals at this year's tournament, having been drawn alongside Germany, Portugal and the United States in Group G. However, head coach Apia is taking heart from his size positive attitude to the tax that awaits them in Brazil. According to Apia, the unity is so great and discipline is very high, adding everybody is attentive to whatever is taught in training. A Ghanaian high-life and Afro-pop music duo who goes by the name Galazi have urged the government and all other entertainment industry players to support the music industry. According to Galazi, music stands a great chance to put the country on the world stage. Government and then some other institutions to help the industry to go because entertainment itself is a very big thing which can bring money to the country itself. So I think no like the industry alone, but we need the help of the government and other institutions that can support the industry because music is a very big institution. The music duo, whose latest track, Boko Boko, is enjoying massive airplay, spoke about their music, fashion and record label. Um, Harbour City Records is a new record label in town. Like, we, we came into existence not long ago, but like, we're doing things, record labels, which are there for a long time and not even doing because we have our own publicist. Like looking at our, our promotional plans, like 
as of now, Galaxy songs on radio, it's, it's been played even more than, I don't want to mention <laughs> names, but our songs have been played on radio more than any other artist. <laughs> There is outrage over police inaction in a village in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh where two teenage girls were ganged raped and hanged from a tree. The father of one victim said he was ridiculed by policemen when he sought help in finding his missing daughter. He said when the policemen found out he was from the lower caste, they refused to look for his girl. At least three men, including one policeman, have been arrested in connection with the incident. The victim's family have complained that police had refused to help find the missing girls aged 14 and 16 who were cousins from a low caste. Police said two men have been arrested for the gang rape and murder of the girls. A constable who was also detained for conspiring with the suspects and for dereliction of duties, authorities said adding they were looking for one more suspect and one constable. People in Kathrasha Hadad Gan, a village of 10,000 people in Bwadun district where the incident took place, say caste play an important role in social affairs in the community. Scrutiny of sexual violence in India has grown since the 2012 gang rape and the murder of a student on a Delhi bus.